Good morning, this is a short screencast to demonstrate a feature of uncomplicated categories and uncomplicated breadcrumbs. So um, here I am in my store. What I'd like to do is go into the Shopify navigation. This is where we set up all the categories and in previous screencasts I've been through and set up categories. What I want to demonstrate is a, um, a feature where we can create categories from collections, which is what we have already, but also from pages. So here if I go add menu I'm going to call this called synthetic category and in here I'm going to put a few pages and I'm going to link those pages not to collections as previously but just to pages so instead of selecting collection in here and then going through and selecting a collection as I have in previous casts I'm going through and selecting page and I'm just going to point them all at a single page for now because um, it's, uh, it's just an illustration so there we go this menu has four items in it, page one through to page four. I'm now going to go back and create another menu for page two. And the page two menu is going to have a few items in it, 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3. And again, I'll link those through to pages. So again, I'm making them all just point at the about. Whoops, at the about us page. Oh, a little glitch in Shopify there. There we go, sorted. And I'll save the menu. Now, to illustrate one point, I'm actually going to say that one of these pages is a sub page. So this one I've curated here called test page. I'm going to pretend that is my sub page. I'm going to save the menu and then go back into navigation. So here in navigation I've now got um, the two menus I just created, synthetic category with all those pages in it and page one, sorry page two with those sub pages in it. Um, I'm going to add synthetic category to my master list of categories. So here where it says categories that's the list I'm working to. I'm going to edit that menu. I'm going to put the synthetic category, I think it's a small c, category, and we'll link that to a page as well and just use the about us page. Save. Okay, so I've created the menu items there. The next stage is actually to create pages. So here I did some linking all using the About Us page, which is a bit of a hack just to get through um, that stage. What I'm going to go and do now is create a page um, for each one of those. And then we're going to go back into the menu and uh, create another page. Uh, and then after that we're going to go back into the menu and link those pages together. So those are my four top uh, first level pages. I also had page 2.1, another page, page 2.2, and another page, page 2.3. And finally, I'm going to create the top level page, which I'm going to call synthetic category save back into navigation this time in navigation back to those menus we created and I'm going to edit the menus and link them to the proper pages so here page one links to page one page two page two and so on a few glitches in Shopify this morning I'm not quite sure what that's about
There we go. Save that menu. I'm going to go to my sub menu, which is this one, my page two sub menu. Link these together. Two to two point one to two point two to two point three. Save that. And finally, I'm going to go to my top level menu, which is categories, and I'm going to edit the link on synthetic category. That should be syn. There it is. Synthetic category. I'm just checking the cap case on that. So capital S, lowercase c. And back in navigation, menu item, capital S, okay, C. So the next step now is to go back into the Uncomplicated Categories app to refresh the category list. I'm doing this on my staging server, so you're noticing a few little bits and pieces here. But it will work exactly the same on live. Now when I scroll down, you can see I have this new part of my category tree. But where these categories are all made out of collections, these categories are made of pages. So I have synthetic category, page one, page two, page 2.1, page 2.2. I haven't changed any of the URLs at this stage. So they're all just the vanilla um, uh, URLs that those pages create. But we can edit the URLs for um, pages in exactly the same way we do for collections. If I go into synthetic category, here you can see it's selected that part of the structure. I can click on page one and go to page one within that. So what I've implemented here is a little hierarchy of pages as if they were collections. So that's the end of the screencast. I hope that's useful. This is um, one of the additional features of uncomplicated categories and uncomplicated um, uh, breadcrumbs. Uh, I've put it out there just because I had a request from a customer um, and wanted to be responsive to that. So I hope that helps. Thanks very much.